everyone, for today's video, I will be sharing how Chris' dream of having a studio and a gallery came true. So we thought about it for many years and finally found a place. We were browsing on the net and thought of getting a warehouse, which is kind of too big actually. Uh, but then eventually we found this ad and straight away we knew that this is the place we wanted for a very long time. You know that kind of feeling of love at first sight, even if you only saw the photos and not the actual place? That's how we felt about that moment. Look at those photos. So straight away, we sent an email to the agency that same night and the next day, I think um, we went to check the property. And the moment we stepped in, Chris and I were like, yes, yes, we want this. We desperately want this place. I mean, who doesn't want to? The place is perfect. It's beautiful and it's charming. So to cut the story short, we got accepted. And after a few days, we started to move a few things as soon as we got the key. Let's follow Chris for a quick tour inside the gallery and studio. Someone looks so excited. This area here will be our gallery. This is where Chris will hang his paintings. The space is just right. It's not too big nor too small. And I love that big window over there. This place is kind of divided into two separate areas. And we have two fireplaces. I was so excited to see the fireplace, but I don't think we can use it. I wish we can. So let's follow Chris upstairs because he will show us his studio area where he will be painting. Ta-da! Wow! Don't you just love the chandelier? And we also have another fireplace. And can you please open the door and show us the balcony? Thank you very much. We get lots of sunshine here early in the morning. And of course, you get a nice view outside. You'd see trees, you'd see cars because it's the main highway, you'd also see buses. And you'd also see people walking their dogs. Hello. We can't wait to bring our easels and canvas in this area and be creative. One of the highlights of this property is having a small garden right in front of the building. And as you know, Chris and I love plants and gardening. We can't wait to do a garden makeover in this place. It's going to be so much fun. This is pack up day and time to say goodbye to our old place. This room is Chris' tiny paint room. And our garage is filled with art supplies and boxes. And it's hard to sort out things as all of them are important. If you are an art or crafty person, you'd know what I'm talking about. Thanks to the E-team removals who were very professional in helping us relocating. And how do you feel? <laughs> Excited. Wow. I'm still thinking that the whole the thing that needs to come up so far, it's been looking at it. That's great. So a beautiful studio. Uh
It took about three hours to unload everything. And finally, we're done. This is it. So we've moved everything into the new place. It sure looks like a big mess. Like there are boxes there and everywhere. But anyway, we'll take one day at a time. And If only magic wands are real, I could put everything in a place in a split second. And of course, we took Nala and Minka to the new place and let them explore. I think they love the new place. Oh, I guess maybe the boxes and the new hideout. There's a lot of things in here that are familiar to them. Where's Nala? Nala! Oh, there you are! Where have you been? Hi everyone! It's a bit chilly here in Sydney because it's raining plus lockdown pa jod. But anyway, we'll never get bored because we are in our studio and doing our painting session. Chris is currently working on a big piece and that's what keeps him busy. And of course, we still have a few things to sort out, but we'll do it later. That's my painting on the floor waiting to dry. Yes, I paint when I have time. It makes me feel happy and relaxed. Plus, Chris is a good art teacher too. So that's it for now. I will be uploading more videos later for updates regarding our preparation for opening the art gallery. Thanks for watching!